Obviously, I'm Caucasian. Yes, my mum's from a city in Ireland and my dad's Japanese. <laughs> Couldn't sleep last night, I was too hot. Then the smoke alarm went off. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on snooze. <laughs> then the phone went off. Picked it up, a voice said, can you speak? I said, how did you think this conversation was gonna work? And I recognised the voice of my mother, the very woman who taught me to speak in the first place. <laughs> she said, listen, it's your dad. <laughs> I said, that is the worst impression. <laughs> Do you ever have a conversation with someone and towards the end they say, well, I'll let you go. <laughs> you think, yeah, thanks. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're trying to make me think that you think that I've got better things to do. <laughs> in reality, you're saying that you've got better things to do. Well, next time someone says to you, I'll let you go, say, no. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> if they make a sudden dive for the window, grab them by their ankles. <laughs> As they're dangling four stories over the car park, screaming, this has all been a terrible mistake. Say, okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> So it turns out, not all horses are Trojan horses. <laughs> I know that now. That was a messy afternoon. <laughs> Health and safety, that's a minefield, isn't it? Don't tell them. <laughs> I used to work in Ikea. Selling over 7,000 different items. Give me a number between one and 7,000, I'll tell you about it. Eight, sorry, out of stock. <laughs> well, it's not easy traveling around all the time, being on the road, oh no. The AA, RAC, green flag, don't get me started.